You can diet all you want, hit the gym as much as you like, but if you really want to get a body better than 99% of other people, you can't just spin your wheels doing the same thing over and over. In this video, I want to talk about three crucial things you need to master if you want to be in that top 1%, and they are the perfect diet you need to incorporate that will allow you to gain lean muscle mass, the best exercises you need to be doing, and how we can naturally increase your testosterone to supercharge your progress to that top 1%. Word of warning though, what I'm about to show you will work for all of you, but only if you take action with the information you're about to receive. For the first part of this video, let's talk about your nutrition. Part 1. The Perfect Diet for Gaining Lean Muscle My definition of a perfect male body is one that has an aesthetic visual appeal, but is also healthy on the inside. You can have the most attractive body, but it won't stay for long if your health isn't in a good place. Hence the importance of a well-balanced, nutritious diet. This will not only result in keeping fat to a minimum, but also clearer, healthier-looking skin giving you that glow. What foods to include? Number 1. Dairy Products Milk, Yogurt, Cheese, Curd, Paneer, etc. Dairy boasts not just a decent amount of protein, but also a perfect combo of fast-digesting whey protein and slow-digesting casein protein. This overall nutrient profile enhances lean muscle building. Number 2. Fish, Red Meat, Poultry Salmon, Tuna, Beef, Chicken, Turkey, Codfish, Prawns, etc. For meals like lunch and dinner, have some fish or meat. Fatty fish like tuna and salmon are packed with omega-3s, a nutrient that's vital in increasing muscle mass. Skinless meat, both white and red, are also great choices as their breast areas are excellent sources of lean protein. Meat and fish have good protein profiles. The thing is, you can't stock them for too long, but with eggs, you definitely can. Number 3. Whole Eggs You can never have too many eggs in your pantry, especially not when you want to gain lean muscle. They encourage muscle growth and repair thanks to their protein content as well as vitamins and minerals. Number 4. Fruits Apples, grapes, avocados, bananas, berries, melons, oranges, etc. Fruits provide different nutrients and thus different benefits. For bananas and avocados, their high calories and nutrients make them ideal options for hitting your caloric surplus. We also have antioxidant powerhouses like grapes and berries that aid in increasing testosterone and supporting muscle recovery. As for fruits like apples, melons, and oranges, their charm lies in their high water content for hydration and vitamin C content for immune function and blood flow. Number 5. Vegetables Broccoli, spinach, kale, green beans, mushrooms, tomatoes, bell peppers, sweet potatoes, etc. It's true, most people don't associate veggies with muscle building. So, why are they on our list? Simple. Eating vegetables is one of the most basic ways of boosting your diet regardless of your fitness goals. You can eat loads of protein and carbs from other foods, but there's nothing quite like the boost you get from vegetables. Low in calories and dense with nutrients, veggies offer a multitude of nutrients that are otherwise scarce, if not missing, in many bodybuilding diets. Building muscle and recovering from your gym sessions require energy, and one fantastic source of energy your body can benefit from is… Number 6. Whole Grains Oats, Quinoa, Whole wheat, brown rice, millets, amaranth, etc. Whole grains are important for maintaining your energy levels, specifically when working out. Some of them, such as quinoa and amaranth, are especially high in protein, which further helps in building muscle mass and strength. Number 7. Legumes and Beans Chickpeas, lentils, soybeans, white chana, black chana, kidney beans, etc. If you're a vegetarian, you can still build muscle from legumes and beans. They are protein and fiber powerhouses. In addition to helping build muscle and strength, eating more of them also increases good gut bacteria and decreases blood sugar levels. Speaking of legumes, I have one perfect recipe that will make a good yummy use of your lentils. It's a Moroccan-style soup. You'll love it, but more on that in a bit. Number 8. Nuts and Seeds Walnuts, almonds, peanuts, chia seeds, sunflower seeds, flax seeds, etc. High in protein and fats, having nuts and seeds in your diet can be a great alternative to your lentils, eggs, and other protein-rich foods. And don't worry, their kind of fats are not fully absorbed, so they won't make you gain weight. In fact, nuts and seeds have unsaturated fats that have protective properties against heart disease and diabetes. Number 9. Fats and Oil 
olive oil, coconut oil, flaxseed oil, canola oil, etc. The body relies on fat for energy supply to your muscles. It's why, as a general guideline, fat should make up 20 to 35 percent of your total calories. The key here is to choose heart-healthy fats like olive oil and canola oil which are also good for muscle strength and overall health. If certain foods are good for your muscle building goal, some are the total opposite. One infamous muscle killer is alcohol. Why? What foods to avoid? Number 1. Alcohol According to research, alcohol consumption harms muscle protein synthesis even when the body has optimal nutrition. Moreover, alcohol has been found to reduce metabolism and weaken the body's ability to burn fat. It's why your body reacts the way it does when it consumes alcohol. It sees alcohol as a toxin and is trying to rid itself of the toxin that is the alcohol. Number 2. Junk and Deep Fried Foods French fries, pizza, pasta, onion rings, etc. Junk foods are just empty calories. They may have protein, but all the fats and additives only bring inflammation and contribute to fat gain, never muscle. Similarly, deep fried foods are high in saturated fats, the kind that can cause heart problems, increase diabetes risk, and contain toxic chemicals that can harm the liver and kidneys. Number 3. Sugary Foods and Drinks cakes, candy, donuts, pastries, colas, etc. Baked goods, candies, sugary drinks, you name it. They're some of the worst things you can eat when trying to build your ultimate dream body. They encourage body fat accumulation, thus decreasing the muscle mass you've earned with your blood and sweat. It's no easy feat to build muscle, but it's not impossible either. Starting with your diet, it's essential to keep in mind a few reminders, such as meal prepping, but more on this here. Important Nutrition Reminders Number 1. Plan Ahead If possible, jot down a weekly meal plan so you can create a grocery list from there. Buy all you need for at least a week. Choose one day in a week for a prep day so when the actual cooking comes, it'll be easier and smoother. By planning and preparing ahead, you can have a meal or snack whenever you need. Number 2. Choose Lean Protein A diet centered on lean muscle gain must prioritize high-protein foods. High-quality and complete protein sources are always your safest and best options. These include whey protein, plain-based protein powders, casein protein, eggs, lean red meat, and dairy products. My hack is to always include a protein-rich food or two in every meal effectively promoting muscle growth and the release of fat-burning hormones. Focusing on lean protein is crucial in building lean muscle. Likewise, you must also learn how to number 3. Establish Caloric Balance The amount and quality of your calorie intake directly affects your body composition. In other words, what you eat determines whether you gain, lose, or maintain weight. For bulking purposes, set your sights on a calorie surplus. However, you can't just do as you please. What matters is not only the end, but also the means. So, make sure to distribute your calorie intake to meals and snacks throughout the day. Doing so will help improve your metabolism and preserve your energy levels. Eat at least 1 gram of protein per pound of body weight daily. Number 4. Manage Your Carbohydrate Intake Not all carbohydrates are created equal. They're categorized into two types, simple and complex. Simple carbs are fast-digesting carbs, meaning they quickly increase your blood sugar levels. Meanwhile, complex carbs are packed in dietary fiber and thus provide sustainable energy. For bulking up, pick complex carbs over simple ones. You can have simple carbs like white pasta and white bread before and after workouts to boost your energy. But for major meals, always go for complex carbs such as lentils, oats, and whole grains. And since you want to gain lean muscles, keep your carbohydrates low to moderate, which should be about 100 to 150 grams of carbs. Eating quality proteins and complex carbs is a great practice. However, those can all be for naught if you don't drink enough water. Here's why. Number 5. Always drink water Proper hydration is perhaps the most overlooked aspect of muscle building, second only to ample rest and recovery. Just like it's crucial to have an adequate calorie and protein intake, you must also ensure optimal hydration at all times. A dehydrated body can impair your athletic performance and badly affect your overall muscle-building journey. A good rule of thumb is at least one gallon of water per day. Keeping yourself hydrated can be a flavorful experience too. While plain water should be your primary beverage, you may also drink lemon water, coconut water, buttermilk, fresh fruit and vegetable juices, or even sugar-free herbal teas. Number 6. Pay Attention to Micronutrients Your macros might be the front runners of your muscle building journey, but you also cannot afford to snub your micros, aka vitamins and minerals. For one, these micronutrients facilitate the processing of macronutrients like protein and calcium to promote a healthy body. 
Secondly, micros have a direct effect on your muscle gains by supplying energy and assisting in muscle maintenance and recovery. All nutrients are essential, but the top micros for fitness are vitamins D, E, B, and K, and minerals zinc, calcium, potassium, magnesium, and selenium. Now that we've got the diet part covered, it's time for some gym talk. Have you ever wondered which exercises are the best at building a lean and ripped body? Is the deadlift perhaps one of those? Short answer, yes. That and so many more which I'll go into detail right this instant. Part 2 – The Best Exercises to Do Number 1. Deadlift The deadlift is hailed as one of the best exercises for men to get shredded. It's a full-body exercise that targets several muscle groups at once. The motion is akin to bending over to get something from the floor. However, as straightforward as the deadlift is, one must nail the proper execution first for you to reap its full benefits. How to do deadlifts Number 1. Step up to the loaded barbell, starting with your feet about shoulder width apart and your feet under the bar. Keep your shins either close to or touching the bar. Number 2. Pushing your butt back and hinging at the waist, bend down and grab the bar on either side of your legs using an overhand grip with both hands. Number 3. Ensure your hips are lower than your shoulders. Squeeze your shoulder blades together and then engage your core. Keep your neck in a neutral position, no looking up. Number 4. Push your feet through the floor and pull the barbell up, keeping the bar close to your body. Squeeze your glutes at the top of the movement, but don't lean back. Number 2. Chin up. Whatever your fitness level is, chin ups won't disappoint you. Even more so if you want to bulk up and sculpt the best male physique one could ever have. The chin up simultaneously trains different muscle groups, including your back, biceps, shoulders, and abs. How to do chin ups? Number 1. Grab a pull up bar with an underhand grip. Number 2. Hang at arm's length, pointing your legs slightly in front of you to create a wide C. Number 3. Press your thighs together and flex your abs. Your body should remain rigid for the entire movement. Number 4. Pull your elbows to your ribs and squeeze your shoulder blades together. As you pull yourself up, imagine that you're pressing down on the top of the bar. Number 5. Look straight ahead and pull until your head is over the bar. The floor press is typically done with a barbell. But for beginners like yourself, it's best to start with the easier variation which is the number 3. Dumbbell Floor Press This exercise is perfect for your upper body workout routine. It primarily targets the triceps due to its limited range of motion. The chest can also be targeted by emphasizing squeezing your pecs during the top of the movement. The Dumbbell Floor Press is helpful for those looking to add more mass to their triceps. How to do dumbbell floor presses Number 1. Start by sitting on the floor with the legs extended in front and weights on the floor on both sides. Number 2. Pick up each dumbbell and rest them on your thighs while keeping a solid grip. Number 3. Slowly lie back and bring the weights close to your chest. Bend your knees at a 45 degree angle and move your feet slightly up. Number 4. Press the dumbbells to full extension by flexing your chest and triceps. Number 5. Slowly lower the dumbbells till both elbows touch the floor. Press both weights back to their starting position. From a triceps exercise, let's now move on to leg training. To start, do this exercise. Number 4. Reverse lunge Reverse lunges are one of the best exercises to improve single leg strength, balance, and overall stability as they focus on one limb at a time. This movement targets the quadriceps, glutes, and hamstrings while strengthening the core and lower back. When trained with a barbell, dumbbells, or kettlebells, the reverse lunge turns into a terrific muscle builder. How how to do reverse lunges. Number 1. Stand with your feet at shoulder width. Squeeze your glutes and the muscles of your upper back and look straight ahead. Number 2. You can start lunging with only your body weights, but I suggest you add weight using dumbbells or kettlebells held in different positions. Number 3. Whatever you use, start with two dumbbells held at hip level. Number 4. Take a step back with one leg, toe first, and land on the ground without slamming your knee. Bend your knees to form right angles with each leg. Number 5. Drive off the ground with your front foot and step forward with your rear leg into the starting position. Number 6. Keep your torso upright by squeezing your stomach muscles to stay balanced. Number 5. Bulgarian Split Squat To achieve your fitness goal of having a better body than 99% of people, then you must not neglect your legs. Consider adding Bulgarian Split Squats to your program. It's a squat variation that offers fantastic advantages not only to your legs but to the entire lower body. How to do Bulgarian Split Squats Number 1. 
Stand with your feet hip width apart, your shoulders backward, chest forward and core engaged. Number 2. Place your right foot on the bench, keeping your ankle aligned with the edge of the bench. Keep your left foot firmly on the ground and your feet are hip width apart. Number 3. Once you've got the right balance, go down on your left foot in a squat. The entire weight will be distributed across your left leg while the right leg provides balance. Number 4. Slightly move your upper body forward. Once you feel a stretch on your left quad, push back with your left foot and return to the neutral position. Number 5. Repeat for desired reps before switching legs. Another squat variation that will help you achieve your goal is the front squat, but I'll dive deeper into that in a little while. Number 6. Bench Press The bench press is a popular exercise for strengthening the pectoral muscles, arms, and shoulder muscles. It also works to build upper body strength, increase muscular endurance, and even prepare your upper body for push-ups and other upper body exercises. How to do bench presses Number 1. Lie flat on your back on the bench Number 2. Hold the bar with your hands slightly wider than shoulder width apart, which should put your hands directly above your elbows when you complete the action. Number 3. As you inhale, carefully lower the bar to your chest. Number 4. As you exhale, push up while firmly holding the bar and keeping your eyes on the ceiling, not the bar, to make sure it follows the same path each time. Now that you've worked your pecs and arms with bench presses, it's time to train your back muscles using the number 7. Dumbbell Row Dumbbell rows use a long range of motion through a horizontal pulling movement, allowing you to really focus on engaging the targeted muscles. The dumbbell row is a compound exercise, working primarily the major back muscles including your latissimus dorsi, trapezius, and posterior deltoids. How to do dumbbell rows Number 1. Start by placing a dumbbell on the floor beside a bench. Stand facing the bench and put your left hand and left knee on top of it. Number 2. Position your back flat and parallel to the ground, slightly bending on the standing leg, and then grip the dumbbell with your right hand. Number 3. Inhale and pull the weight by driving your elbow toward the ceiling. Number 4. Exhale and lower the dumbbell back to the starting position with control. Number 5. Complete desired reps on one side before switching to the opposite arm and leg. Number 8. Feet elevated side plank. This advanced variation of a side plank puts more stress on your obliques and outer thigh muscles than the traditional regular side plank. It's a great option to grow and strengthen those muscles and at the same time build balance. Moreover, side planking with feet elevated increases resistance on your shoulders and triceps. How to do elevated side planks Number 1. Sit sideways on the ground in front of the elevated object, a bench, box, or step with your feet toward the object. Number 2. Lean on your lowest forearm and keep the upper arm of this side about vertical. Number 3. Place your feet on the elevated object with your upper foot resting on the lower one. Number 4. Lift your hips in a controlled motion until your body is in a straight line from your ankles to your shoulders. Number 5. Maintain this position for a certain amount of time and then repeat the same duration of feet elevated side plank on the other side. Number 9. Front Squat your goal is to get bigger and stronger, and that's exactly what squats are for. In particular, to build massive thighs, you should incorporate the front squat variation into your routine. Unlike the back squat, the front squat involves holding the bar across the front of your shoulders. As a result, your torso is trained to be more upright, which in turn leads to an increased range of motion, a stronger core and upper back, and many more. How to do front squats Number 1. Set the bar up to mid-shoulder height and bend the knees to set the hips under the bar. The bar should be under your chin by the clavicle. Number 2. Place your thumbs on the outside of your shoulders. This is where your grip will be on the bar. Number 3. Pull your elbows out and forward under the bar. Number 4. Straighten your legs and unrack the bar, taking some small steps back. Number 5. Steady your core and keep your chest forward with the elbows in line with your shoulders. Number 6. Keep the barbell over your midfoot and lower your hips into a squat with your thighs hitting parallel or lower. Number 7. Explosively drive through the floor to push yourself back to a standing position. If you think front squats are fire, then wait until you see what inverted rows do to your body. Number 10. Inverted row. Inverted rows are characterized by pulling movements which are essential for building the back, biceps, and forearms. Ultimately, they improve your overall upper body strength and mass, leading to other benefits like good posture and better stability. To ensure that the muscle strength is balanced between your front and back, consider doing inverted rows. How to do inverted rows Number 1. Set up a barbell high about waist level. It's a good starting point for beginners and you can progress from there. 
Number 2. Lie face up underneath the barbell and make sure it aligns with your lower chest. Number 3. Grip the bar with a slightly wider than shoulder width grip and straighten your legs while keeping your glutes grounded. Number 4. Keeping your glutes engaged, lift them off the ground with your body in a straight line from head to heel. Number 5. Pull yourself toward the bar by squeezing your shoulder blades together. Number 6. Once your shoulder blades are fully contracted, slowly lower down until your elbows are extended. Number 11. Single Leg Hip Thrust This unilateral variation of the body weight hip thrust works to train the glutes as well as the adductors, quads, hamstrings, and core. The killing point here is to lift one leg off the floor as you support your body on the other while performing the number of reps. In addition to muscle hypertrophy, single leg thrusts are good for preventing side-to-side -side muscle imbalances. How to do single leg hip thrusts Number 1. Sit in front of a bench or a box with the bottom of your shoulder blades resting on the edge, feet flat on the floor in front, and knees towards the ceiling. Number 2. Raise your left leg off the floor. You can keep the knee bent so that the hip and thigh are at a 90 degree angle or extended straight up at a 45 degree angle. Number 3. Engage the core and push through the heel of your right foot, lifting your hips off the floor and making them in line with your shoulders and chest. Number 4. Pause before slowly lowering back to the floor while keeping a neutral spine throughout. Number 5. Repeat for your desired number of reps before switching sides. Number 12. Push up. Not many exercises can pack quite the punch the way the push up does. It's a multi joint exercise, effectively recruiting various muscle groups together, big and small. Outside muscle growth, this highly versatile and powerful exercise also strengthens the bones, improves posture, and promotes cardiovascular health. How to do push ups. Number 1. Place your hands shoulder width or slightly wider apart and your feet shoulder width or slightly wider apart. Number 2. Keeping a straight line from the top of your head to your heels, brace the core and glutes, then look a few inches in front of your fingers to extend the neck. Number 3. Start bending the elbows to a 90 degree angle or less. Elbows should be a few inches from the body so your form looks like an arrow if looking top down, not a T-shape. Number 4. Pause, then push onto the floor, still keeping the core and glutes engaged to press up to the plank position again. Okay, so we all agree that diet and exercise are two very important factors in how much bigger and stronger your body can be. Unbeknownst to some of you, there is a third major player in this whole muscle building game, and that is your testosterone. By amplifying your T levels, you can quickly advance your progress. Is resting really that crucial? How about supplementation? Let's find out together. Part 3. How to Increase Testosterone and Supercharge Progress Number 1. Rest and Recovery Although often overlooked, there's no denying how essential proper rest and recovery are when it comes to having optimal testosterone levels. Studies have shown that poor sleep quality can result in a decline in testosterone production and an imbalance in other hormones. Thus, you must aim to keep your nights as restful as possible. Some easy tips I highly recommend are Creating a sleep-conducive environment Make your room comfortable and cool Get a high-quality mattress and pillow Use blackout curtains and reduce noise disruptions Following a bedtime routine Create a consistent bedtime routine so your body can easily recognize the signals that it's snooze time. It can include activities like having a warm bath or shower, doing a quick meditation, reading, or performing light stretching. Getting 7-8 to eight hours of sleep at night Make it a priority to get at least 7 hours of quality sleep every night. This makes way for the necessary sleep cycles to happen, including REM sleep, which is especially helpful in restoring and regulating your T levels and other hormones. Number 2. Sun Exposure A special connection has been forged between sunlight, D, and testosterone. It turns out that adequate sunlight exposure is vital in the production of vitamin D in the body, a nutrient that's pivotal in boosting your testosterone levels. As we all know, sunlight is the primary and most natural source of vitamin D synthesis. When the skin is exposed to sunlight, it sets off a process that eventually leads to the production of vitamin D. From there, vitamin D acts as a precursor molecule in the synthesis of testosterone, which makes it an essential component in maintaining optimal hormonal balance. To maximize sun exposure for a testosterone boost, consider these things. Timing of sun exposure The sun is at its highest position in the sky at certain hours of the day. If you can, schedule your outdoor time during peak sun hours, say between 10 in the morning and 2 in the afternoon. 
Within this time frame, there's a maximum ultraviolet B ray exposure, which is necessary for vitamin D synthesis. Duration of sun exposure. How long you stay under the sun also plays a role in the production of testosterone. However, the duration of sunlight also depends on several factors like your location, time of the year, and skin type. A good rule of thumb is 10 to 30 minutes of direct sunlight exposure. Target the larger areas of your skin like your arms, torso, and legs. While sunlight is an outstanding source of vitamin D, it's important to properly distinguish optimal sun exposure from sun safety. Avoid excessive sun exposure that can result in sunburn or long-term skin damage. Sunlight is good and natural, but it doesn't hurt to use science-backed supplements either. Number 3. Supplementation Certain supplements can aid in increasing your T-levels. Many testosterone-boosting supplements are now at anyone's disposal these days, such as zinc. One of the roles of zinc is to support testosterone production. It's an active participant in multiple enzymatic reactions related to hormone synthesis. As such, sufficient zinc levels are crucial for maintaining optimal testosterone levels. d aspartic acid This amino acid is also important in testosterone synthesis. In fact, d aspartic acid has been shown to temporarily increase testosterone levels, particularly in individuals with low testosterone or poor fertility. Vitamin D Besides sunlight exposure, the body can also take vitamin D as a supplement. As mentioned earlier, it plays a vital role in testosterone regulation. This is even more apparent from the observation that individuals with low T levels are deficient in vitamin D. Ashwagandha Ashwagandha is a medicinal herb that has been shown to reduce stress, enhance mood, and boost testosterone levels. Some studies have also shown its positive impact on sperm quality and fertility. Fenugreek Fenugreek is a clover-like herb that has been traditionally used to increase testosterone and improve libido. It can also work by reducing the enzymes that convert testosterone into estrogen. You can try all those things to boost your T-levels, but if your stress levels are through the roof, then you're most likely doomed. Number 4. Stress Management Stress is a major testosterone killer. When your stress levels are elevated, the body releases cortisol as a defense mechanism. Long-term exposure to high levels can badly affect testosterone production. Moreover, chronic stress can impede testosterone synthesis, causing imbalanced hormone levels and potential symptoms of low testosterone. To optimize your T-levels, make sure you know how to manage your stress. Some effective tools are physical activity. Doing your workout routine or engaging in activities like jogging, cycling, or swimming goes a long way in alleviating stress and promoting hormonal balance. Deep breathing. Diaphragmatic breathing or box breathing exercises can rouse the body's relaxation response, thus reducing stress. Mindfulness and meditation. Spare some time to practice mindfulness and meditate to help relieve nerves and anxiety. Self-care. Engage in activities that make you happy, be it reading books, watching YouTube videos, taking aromatic baths, or exploring a new trail to reduce stress and promote overall well-being. A V-shaped body is a major physique goal of men. If you think your torso still needs a little more work to get that elaborate V taper, check out this next video on how you can achieve that look.